guys, it's Zena Raccoon here, back again with another video. Oh, hello. It's been a little while since my last video, so I thought I'd do another one. This will be kind of similar to the video I made recently, where I showed all my first six projects I've worked on over the summer this year. So this time I'll be showing all the public projects I've been working on over the last few months. So since around kind of June time until October being the most recently completed ones, which kind of goes over into autumn, but most of these were commissioned during summer, so I'm going to class them as summer projects. So I'm going to go in like a chronological order again, a little bit of video and images and a bit of a commentary on each one. I just think it makes things a bit more interesting for the video, so I can put a bit more effort in and just explain a bit more about everything I've been working on. So let's begin. So, the first public commission that I worked on during the summer of 2020, this year, uh, was this guy. So this guy's name is Rabid Rob. He's some kind of a dog and he was a commission for a user on Instagram. So they sent me some concept drawings of him which were really useful because they were very accurate to how the puppet would actually look. They'd obviously thought about how he would look as a puppet and they were very easy to translate into the actual puppet when I made him. So if you've seen the majority of the puppets that I've worked on in the past, most of them have kind of a more of a feral sort of style. Whereas this guy has a bit more of an amphro, almost muppet type style. So this was my first time working in this particular style for a puppet. And honestly, I really enjoyed working in this style. I really like the cartoony muppet kind of vibe. He was a lot of fun to make. He's basically could double as a plushie of sorts. He can sit up like a plushie. So he has a moving mouth, as most of my puppets do. He's operated by like a hand puppet. So he's quite big, but he was classed as a smaller puppet. So when I do puppet commissions, I'll do bigger ones or smaller ones. The big ones tend to be the really long, feral style ones with lots of detail, whereas the smaller ones are a bit more of an amphro kind of style and a little bit less detailed. So this guy was classed as a small puppet. So as usual, he features a foam head, sculpted out of foam. Very round kind of head, like uh, almost like Kermit or a bit like the dog character from the Muppets. I can't quite remember his name, but hopefully some of you will know who I'm talking about. Uh, he's got plastic bauble eyes as usual. The eye details on this guy are actually made of fleece. I normally paint the eyes, but since these were more of a solid colour, I decided to go with fabric because it seemed, just seemed to work a bit better and they look a bit bolder that way. He's got plush teeth, floppy ears, he's got plush limbs, plush tail, hand sewn marking on his back. Um, and he actually has a removable collar as well, which is made out of fleece. And then the little spikes were made out of a silver vinyl for the kind of metal effect. So yeah, that is Rabid Rob. He's now in America. Uh, he was a lot of fun to make. Probably one of my favorite public commissions I've worked on. It's easy to say that about a lot of them though, because I enjoy making these characters so much, but yeah. So the second public commission I worked on this year, this guy was finished around June time. This is Fen, the micro raptor, which is like a, well, exactly what it sounds like is small raptor kind of creature. So he's a little hard to see on the videos and the photos just because he's all black or mostly black. So he's a little bit hard to photograph or kind of show off the details on camera. But uh, he's quite detailed, he was a lot of fun to make. He was also classed as a smaller puppet being quite simple but uh, he actually ended up being a bit bigger than I expected, which often happens. So if you commission me for a small puppet, chances are it'll end up being a bit bigger than you expect. So he's again with the more feral kind of style. He's got a foam head again, plastic global eyes. The eyes are painted this time uh, with acrylic paint. So they're pretty much waterproof. Got plush teeth, plush mouth details, plush limbs, wings made out of fake fur that's been kind of shaved down to get the like wing effect. His body's made out of fake fur again, with fleece lining for the kind of hand puppet thing to make him more comfortable to use. Fleece claws, fleece limbs on the end of his legs. Plush tail, he's got a very long tail with little spikes. So yeah, he was also a lot of fun to make. I don't really have that much to say about him because to be honest, a lot of the puppets I make are pretty much the same method used to make them. So I don't really have that much to say about all of them. He was also for a user on Instagram um, and on various other social media sites. And yeah, I really enjoyed making him. He was a lot of fun. He's a really funny character. So moving on to a little bit later in the year, this was third public commission I finished over the summer, or technically the summer. Uh, this one was finished in September, so getting into autumn time, but I'm still gonna class it as the summer batch because that's when it was commissioned. So this character's name is Panya. She is some kind of a wolf monster type creature. I'm not too sure. She was commissioned by user on Fur Affinity. So they provided me with a reference, which was much more of a kind of realistic drawing style, a bit more amphro-y, very kind of style. 
so it was quite tricky actually to translate into a puppet but honestly I really enjoyed the challenge I was really definitely up for it I like to be able to try and do as much as I can so whatever design people provide me with whether it's for a suit or a plushie or a puppet I try and do it as best as I can um, and they were really happy with the result of this one so obviously it went well this character was a lot of fun to make very very detailed so that's why it took quite a bit longer than they often do all the little blue stripes are hand sewn hand sewn claws made out of fleece body's fake fur again the different shades of grey the, the dark and the lighter grey those are all hand sewn together again plush mouth details kind of a velvety fabric for the tongue and the nose and the eyelids fake fur on the ears and on the head and the hair so again this was classed as a smaller puppet she's a bit smaller than the big feral ones again but obviously a lot more detailed just because the character is more detailed and again with a foam head works like a normal hand puppet with a moving jaw so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this one to be honest probably one of the most detailed puppet commissions i've worked on or maybe actually the most detailed one i've made but yeah, I always enjoy working with detailed characters. It gives me a lot to do and it's a fun challenge. So yeah. So the last one I'm going to share for this video is this guy. This guy's name is Chester. He was commissioned by one of my good friends. So he was actually quite a long time in the making just because I was doing a lot of other stuff at the time. And obviously he's quite detailed. So he was finished in very early October, which is autumn really. But I'm still going to class it within the summer batch of commissions because that is when he was commissioned. So he was pretty much artistic liberty. I basically came up with a design, so I'll show those right now. I did some drawings. But basically I was just asked to do a fox and with the black and green stripy kind of colour scheme, which I really like. I really like the colour scheme for him. It was up to me to choose the kind of shades of colours. So I used a mixture of different furs. So he's got some lime green fur on his tail, his beard, his cheeks and his hair. Um, and then he's got mint green fur on his ears and on his back stripes and a few on his tail and then his face and paws are made out of fleece along with the front of his body as well so uh, dark and light green fleece I think they worked really well and then black for the rest of him so he was classed as a bigger puppet because he's bigger and he's also more detailed so he's got plush vinyl teeth so they have that shiny kind of feel as well as the claws are made of the same fabric and he's got a foam head as usual plastic eyes, hand painted blue eyes He's got foam ears, he's got plush limbs as usual. Same method as they normally are for the puppets, but he's a little bit more detailed. So he's actually got removable goggles, which are made out of foam, as well as some silver vinyl for the outside, a bit of gray fleece, and a bit of clear glittery vinyl for the lenses. So his goggles can actually be taken off or put back on, or he could also wear the actual plastic steampunk goggles that you can buy. They would look pretty cool on him. So as I mentioned, his mouth is his mouth details are all push, push vinyl teeth, fleece tongue, and he's got little kind of drool details made out of hot glue that I've coloured with a marker, which kind of gives it a good effect. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about him. Uh, I didn't get much of a video of him, just again because with it being quite a tight turnaround to drop him off in person and stuff, obviously it's quite difficult to meet up with people right now with everything going on, so I have to take the opportunities I can get to drop things off in person. But yeah, we took him to the woods with one of my puppets, so we got a lot of pictures of them in a kind of natural autumnal setting. So yeah, that's Chester. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Nothing super special, but I just wanted to do a bit of commentary on each of the puppets I've been working on. So I hope you liked them. I also want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently and who's been watching my videos. Obviously, I'm not doing this for the views and the likes and stuff, but it really is encouraging to see that people are enjoying what I'm doing and it makes me want to continue. I don't always get time to make videos, but seeing that people enjoy them definitely makes me want to do it a lot more. So hopefully I'll be able to do more in the future. So I'm not sure what I'll do next. I have a few more story time ideas that I want to do at some point. So we'll see how things go. As always, feel free to like, comment, tell me what you liked, tell me what you want to see. Uh, give me a subscribe if you're interested in what I'm doing. Obviously you don't have to, but it's much appreciated. If you have any video ideas, let me know and I might be able to do them. If you'd like a commission um, for a puppet or a fursuit or a plushie, feel free to send me a message literally anywhere. All of my social media contacts are down in the description. So if you've messaged me anyway, I'll get back to you. I check all my sites quite regularly and we can discuss what you'd like to have made. So I think that's about all I have to say. I'm gonna go now. So I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, and I will see you all next time.